Five Sports from the Toyota Dealers Sports Desk. So the Padres are really, really good at baseball. You think after the All-Star break, maybe they just, you know, kind of ease their way back into things? No. And honestly, who says you can't start the second half of the season with a bang, making history left and right against the Nationals tonight? San Diego eager to get some runs in, and who better to get things started than these two All-Stars in the first? Manny Machado reaches on an infield single to third, and it's Fernando Tatis Jr. who scores to get them on the board first. Later, same inning. Eric Hosmer reaches on an infield single to shortstop, and it's Machado who scores. And how about this? Tommy Pham stealing home, and Hosmer stealing second. The boys were on a roll. Washington would eventually catch up. Juan Soto with a three-run homer to right center to tie things up at three. No worries, though, because here comes Jake Cronenworth, the all-star himself. He doubles to left. Victor Caratini and Trent Grisham score to give the Padres a 5-3 to three lead. It would add another run, but they weren't done yet, folks. No, 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 no. Slam Diego goes on the road. Will Myers with the grand slam. Things you love to see that right there. And you guys, this was a special night. Seriously, though, Jay Cronenworth has only the third cycle in team history. The Padres going to win this one 24 to 8. Yes, you heard that right. 24 to 8. Here's Cronenworth on his big night. Definitely was uh, pretty tired after those first two days of the week, but got some rest here in, in D.C. on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, but just trying to put together quality at bats and get good pitches to hit. And I guess I kind of surprised myself. Um, it's a pretty incredible thing to do. Um, but yeah, um, just thankful for all the coaches I've had that let me get to this spot. My first game in high aids 2016, I had the chance to do it with the single left and I walked and uh, and then I had a chance to do it in 2019 with the single left and I grounded out to third in the shift but the third baseman was playing in to guard the bunt so um, finally got it. Crew Dragon on the outside coming late as Flash is the extreme outside no foolery here finishes fast what a finish it is Flash is I believe Flash is it's close an opening day at Del Mar did not disappoint. Check this out in the Run Happy Oceanside Stakes Race. Flashiest wins in a time of 1 minute and 35 seconds. A $2 bet would pay you $27.60, so not too bad. And there to take in all the action was former San Diego Charger Antonio Gates. He tells us this is actually his first time at Del Mar. I've been hearing about it for years now, and uh, sometimes when you're so focused at task at hand, playing sports and trying to do what you got to do, be the best at what you do, you tend to miss certain things like this. Uh, right now is just a perfect time for me to come here, so I came and uh, seen some people that I've known in the past, and I'm meeting a lot of new people who've supported me over my whole career, so uh, it's been a fun time, fun experience. Love it. Let's talk some golf now. In the second round of the British Open, Phil Mickelson with the 72 today, finishing at 152, 12 over par, missing the cut. And that face says it all. A rough day for the San Diego native. Meanwhile, though, South Africa's Louis Oosthuizen finished 11 under on the day with a 65, breaking the record for lowest opening 36 score for the Open Championship. The last time he won the Open was 11 years ago. So could he do it again? Well, maybe, but it won't be easy. Easy. Colin Morikawa only two shots back and Jordan Spieth three behind. And it was a picture perfect day at Torrey Pines for the Junior World final round shot of the day right here coming from Jeremy Chen from Taiwan. He nearly holds it from the bunker on 17. He finished in fourth four under. Meanwhile, Gavin Aurelia really dominating all tournament long holding on to his big lead from yesterday. He wins by four three under the only player under on the leaderboard. Oh, it's awesome. You get kids from everywhere coming here. It's you never know what you're gonna get out here. You get kid from I play with a kid from Taiwan today. I play with a kid from you know China all all, all over. And it's just like ever since you're nine, it's kind of like wow. There's a lot of kids coming from all over. This is a big tournament and it makes you feel like you accomplished something just by getting here. As a 5-7 running back for the Aztecs, Juan Washington had quite a bit of success with his former team, racking up numerous accolades. And now 24-year-old hopes to remind NFL scouts of that same college player. I had a chance to catch up with Washington about his journey to finally showcasing his talent right here in San Diego. Washington in the backfield. Washington will take it. 
It's been more than a year since former Aztecs running back Juan Washington had a chance to show off his skills to NFL scouts. The 2020 SDSU grad never had the opportunity to attend any pro days after the COVID-19 pandemic canceled them all. Unable to prove his ankle injury was healed. I talked to the trainers for the Texans, so they wanted me to come in and uh, get looked at, but that didn't happen with the pro days and stuff getting canceled. Fast forward months later, Washington thought he had a solid opportunity with the CFL team, the Montreal Alouettes, but it didn't last for very long. He got cut a couple weeks ago. It motivated me a lot. You know, I just started working even harder just to get a chance. Could a third time really be the charm for Washington? He has yet another opportunity this weekend to show off his talent. A hub football camp at Helix Charter High School in La Mesa, where he'll have a chance to work out in front of NFL, CFL, USFL, and USA Rugby Scouts expected to attend. I'm super excited just to go out there and just show what I can do in person. I know there'll be a few scouts there from each league and stuff, so they can just see me in person and just compare to the film that I have from college. Washington trains five to six times a week, coming to places like Work Fitness right here in La Mesa. That's where he and his childhood friend and trainer, Landon Beeman, put in the work. Juwan, he's a beast, so um, every time he comes in here, he gives his all. He gives his all, so um, man, I've seen a lot of progress from him. He's just more explosive. Uh, his knees looking good. Um, overall strength. When he's not with Beeman, Washington works out with old teammates looking for their own shot at the NFL too. I'm still the same person uh, that from the film and, and college, you know, I just want to remind them that I'm still the same guy that ran for almost a thousand yards. I was one yard away. He has God with him, so he's going to be okay. He's going to beast it. He's going to beast out. <laughs> Washington joins four other former Aztecs at the camp this weekend. We wish all of those guys the best of luck. I'm sure he's going to have a great weekend. Samantha, thank you. Yes, and definitely good luck to them. Well, we are another day closer to Jeff Bezos' space launch. The plan's in place to keep the billionaire safe during the risk.